Pause and resume functionality is a great addition to Captivate feature set. It allows the people to take their courses on multiple devices without any interruption. The best part is that it remembers where you left off and allows you to browse to the same position from any other device. Let's take a look how you can enable this functionality in your course. After creating your course, just click File and Publish. Once you get this published dialog, select both Swift and HTML5 as your output format options. After selecting this, click Publish and it will allow you to generate a course which has both Swift and HTML uh, files in it. What it does is that it identifies whether the, uh, the device that is playing the course has a Flash Player installed on it or not. If Flash Player is installed, it plays the Flash version, which is the Swift file. And if it doesn't have a Flash Player, like an iDevice, it will play the HTML5 version. Let's take a quick look on this course. So I've already published it and I have uh, deployed this course on SCOM Cloud. There, I've invited myself to participate in the course. So here's an email that I've received and I will click Play course, which is the launch course link. Picture this. You're a high profile photographer with an equally high profile client. You've just finished work on location and have taken some amazing shots. There's one shot in particular that your client just has to have. So I'm not uh, looking at the complete introduction. I'll just click the next button. And this takes me to the menu page where I can either go to the show me section, try, try it section or test me section. Let's go to the try it section and see if we can close out the course and open it again at the same position in the iPad. You've seen how to use the content aware fill tool in the last topic. Show me. Now it's your chance to I'm have clicking a the next button. So here I have to do some step. So I will just click here at a wrong place so that it gives me some hint. So I'll go and click the right button. So it says perfect. Keep going. And I don't want to do anything here right now because I don't remember or maybe I have a meeting that I need to attend. So what I'll do is I will close out this course and it will, I will allow it to bookmark on uh, on the LMS. So I get this uh, uh, screen which is different for uh, different LMSs. So I close this here and now what I do is I go to my iPad. So I'll just bring in the iPad here and let me. So here uh, I again have my main mailbox here and I have the same link which is play course. Let's see if it takes us to the same location. I'm hitting the launch course button and now I hit the play button. You can see that it started from the same location and here again I can do the same thing. So let me just uh, uh, tap on some wrong area and it says you have to select all and it takes me to the next screen. So you can see it's so easy to pause and resume your courses on different devices. It makes the life of your trainees very simple. Thanks for watching this tutorial.